Hello, Vlad here, and today we'll go to the Illustrator Course 1, Part 1 lesson. First, I will present you the file menu and what you can find there. This is just an overview and we we'll won't go to all the settings. Let's start. First is file menu. In the file menu, you can find everything from new, creating open files, saving files, exporting, printing, using custom streets, or using the document setup. You can also use to exit the program. This is pretty much standard in every program. The next one is called edit. In the edit menu, you can find undo, redoing options, copying, methods for pasting. You have, uh, as you see, three methods, and we'll go through each of them later. Then you find like find and replace, check spelling, and so on. You can edit colors, but I wouldn't rely on this one. I would prefer Photoshop. Then you have uh, printing setups, PDF setups, perspective grid presets, and so on. If you're uh, using CC, like I do, you'll most likely be logged in, as you can see. And the last one in this menu is called Preferences. You can find uh, a couple of options here from setting your workflow. We'll go through this in uh, later lessons. The next part is Object. Here you can find uh, options for transforming, arranging, grouping, locking, hiding, showing all objects. There are also some uh, more advanced ones like expanding appearance, which will go in later lessons. And uh, things like rasterizing, using gradient meshes, slices, using paths, and other distorting and uh, illustrators options. The fourth menu is called type. Here you can find most of the options related to type, whether it's uh, selecting a font, recent fonts, selecting a size, using glyphs. Type conversions, maybe using area types or threaded text. If you uh, are used with Photoshop or, you, uh, or InDesign, maybe you may find some of the settings familiar. You can also fit headline, change case, use mark punctuations, show hidden characters or type orientation. You'll find uh, this uh, panel. Very powerful, especially if you work with typography. The next one is called Select. You can find advanced selection options here by selecting, deselecting, inverse, next object above, next object below. Selecting objects based on similar appearances, or filler, stroke, opacities, and so on. Or maybe using objects types for choosing how to select. Finally, you can save or edit your selection for later use. The next menu, you'll find uh, the effects panel. Here you can uh, see various effects you can apply, and they are usually split into action, Illustrator effects and Photoshop. In later lessons, I will uh, explain what is the differences and what each of those can do. The next menu is the view menu. You can deactivate and activate various options related to the artboard here, and uh, making your workflow more precise. The next uh, window is a very powerful menu, showing uh, extra uh, menus or panels that you'll never find here when you first start your applications. As you can see, now uh, they are all grouped. But some of them are missing, but you can activate them from the window menu. You can also find in the bottom things such as arrows, artistic, and so on. Those are pieces that come with Illustrator and you can use them to fasten your workflow. However, uh, most of them I won't be using for a professional workflow because they kind of look very bad. The final menu is called Help. Here you can find um, Illustrator Help. Or maybe signing out updates about Illustrator or System Info. Most likely you'll never touch this menu, but if you want any help, you know where to find it. There are a couple of other options here, like using Adobe Bridge or arranging documents. 
using the search panel or choosing a workspace. But we'll go through each of them in time. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson.